Disclaimer. If you have any concerns in performing any of the yogasans and kriyas listed in this DVD, please consult your physician. Persons with heart or lung conditions are specifically advised to avoid the skipping, jogging or other difficult or exhausting exercises or the asanas. Author takes no responsibility of any kind if you fail to experience yogic benefits outlined in this DVD or suffer any other negative results, some of which could also be due to faulty understanding or practice. Preparatory Guidelines Practice yoga every day. Set aside a regular time in the morning when you will not be disturbed or rushed. It is best to practice yoga on an empty stomach. Women should avoid yoga asans and more specifically inverted poses like the plow, shoulder stand, head stand during menstruation. Consult your gynecologist about suitability of a specific yoga asans throughout your pregnancy or if you have any other specific concerns. What you wear must be comfortable and allow free movement of body parts. Bare feet are ideal. Take a bath before starting yoga asans. Cold water bath is a kind of therapy as it gives a kind of shock and shivering to the body that increases blood circulation and consequently body flexibility. Practice at room temperatures from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius to ensure profuse sweating. Avoid air conditioned rooms for practicing yoga asanas. Esteemed viewers, Namaste. Greetings and welcome to this DVD on Yog Science. Yoga and Ayurveda are ancient sciences. But why is it that in recent years there is so much interest in them? The reality is simple. We are living in an unreal world. We have gone away from reality. Our lifestyles have become very artificial. And that is why we need a balance. We need balance between this materialism that is attracting us and our reality, which is not outward, which is inward, which is inside. So this is why not just in India, but all over the world, there is interest in yoga and Ayurveda and people are coming here. Now, I ask you a very simple question. What do you know about yourself, about your body? I would like to tell you that the biggest business and the most complex business actually is managing your body. Because this body is a factory and you don't know how many systems are placed inside and they are working constantly day in and day out. You know, there is a digestive system, you eat so much food and it gets digested, you don't know how it gets digested. You have the respiratory system, the lungs which take the oxygen from the air and so on. There is blood that is flowing in our body and the heart is pumping it. There is the brain which is controlling all the activities. So it's a very complex system and yet we have no awareness about it how it is functioning, we just take it for granted. And we are all the time busy managing our external businesses. We don't want to manage our internal businesses. So this yoga science and this DVD that you are going to see is going to give you some very basic facts. I give you a very simple example. These days, we all want to have the latest car, the best model. and. The car is now there, standing in front of your house. Can it drive itself? No, the car cannot. You need a driver. But if your driver is ignorant 
he hasn't seen this latest model he doesn't know what all systems are incorporated in it so this driver is useless he cannot drive this car so what you know you need a driver who has complete knowledge about your latest model that you have acquired so for the car to perform its function the car is not so important as the driver because purpose of car is to move from place a to place b and that any car can take you provided you have a expert driver who has good knowledge about the car as also about the way to take and how to manage the traffic this that and so on so what matters is the car but more than the car the driver something similar happens with ourselves our body is just like the car it knows nothing by itself it will be stationary so we need a driver who has good knowledge about this body and who knows how to use it so the yoga science actually is helping us know ourselves inside out not just the external beauty of our body that we are all the time concerned with more we need to see the inside how the inside is performing how good health the inside organs that are functioning how they are and how is that driver how much knowledge how much empowerment have we given to this driver who is going to use this body so this dvd will take you step by step uh, to the knowledge of your body you will get uh, experience of the different parts of your body all the joints of your body especially we will look at the spine and all the vertebrae in the spine that join together give us the stability it is called the backbone and yet we take very little care of the backbone so therefore initially we are going to start with the flexibility uh, exercises these flexibility exercises are going to uh, take lot of breathing lot of brisk breathing so you have to ensure as you practice these exercises that you are breathing forcefully you will hear my own voice there my own breath in and out and then every joint starting with our feet the toes uh, upwards to the ankle to the knees to the pelvic area the hip joints and then our fingers the wrist the elbow the shoulder joint the cervical joint and then the head so we will go over by part by part to the whole body using lot of breathing because breath is energy and we will explain to you later how it is energy but just now we will do these flexibility exercises so get set and here we go welcome to this session of yoga asanas we are going to start with flexibility exercises and we will start with the extremities of our body so we start with the toes so we open our legs straighten them straight your back straight hands resting on the ground and we now start exercising the toes with breathing so the breathing is very important so we started with our toes and then we moved on to the next joint which is the ankle joint and just now we are doing the rotational movement of the ankle joint and now we reverse the rotation so we reverse in the anti clockwise direction and clockwise direction 
our mind is focused on the part of the body that is exercising so this now the ankle joint is being considered now we feel our legs and we now come to the knee joint and at the knee joint we are going to straighten it breathe in and bring it back push your back forward and breathe out and then we do the knee rotation so this time our mind is looking at the knee joint the knee joint is being healed and the rotation like if we rotate 10 times clockwise then 10 times we also go anti clockwise so just now the mind is focused all the time on the knee joint try to do the rotations equal number of times both ways now we rest it down we come to the right leg and the knee joint the same routine and now normal breathing and the rotation when we are breathing in and breathing out that is very important it has to be a brisk breathing and you will see that you will start feeling warm right from the beginning now we reverse the rotation so always clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations of every joint so we are looking at our body joint by joint part by part and healing it okay rest feel the legs and now we come to the hip joint so for the hip joint we bend our leg hold the toes and with the left hand we help the knee to come up breathe in and then push it down breathe out And now lift the leg in front and rotate the hip joint so just now we are exercising our hip joint the mind will be on the hip joint try to be happy a smile on your face so that you are enjoying this routine which is doing the body healing and now ro reverse the rotation so all rotational movements are equal times clockwise and anti-clockwise just now I'm breathing normally okay we rest it same thing with the right leg so I fold it hold the toes and start Then again lift the leg and the rotation breathe normally our joints exercise you will see that the bones crack the ligaments the muscles everything is being healed in this process due to breathing a fire starts burning in the body reverse the rotation and that fire actually burns all the toxins from the body burns all the extra fat that is collected in the body so this breathing part what we call the prana it's the prana that is doing the healing okay rest so we have come up to the hip joint we are still at the hip joint and the lower back so now we spread our legs I'm not so good in this but I'll just give you the movements and you could try as much as you can so we bring both hands this way and then try to reach out to your toe 
bring your head down and again breathe in here hold it there and then the same routine in the opposite direction go here and then and next we do alternately so our hands are here breathe in position and then we go down So in this routine we try to look at our lower back and from here you can try if you can as much as you can come forward many people can just come straight right up to the ground and their whole body come to the ground so that's the routine now we come to the butterfly so we bring both legs together and this time we are just doing a simple butterfly motion and we are going to add breath to it hum isme saans bhi lenge abhi to saans lene ke liye hum dono ghutnon ko upar layenge breathe in aur fir niche dabayenge back ko thoda aage push karenge and we breathe in so breathe out sorry so push your back forward try to do each routine about 20 times so 20 times if you do you will know you will see that by now you are actually sweating a lot especially if it's a warm temperature of 25 to 30 degrees Now once more we bend backwards breathe in and try to push your lower back forward and then bring your head down and breathe out 